What did it feel like to uh, knock off Italy and know that you're going to the World Cup? Um, I mean, it's a great feeling. Uh, it was two very difficult games uh, against a very good Italy. Um, we knew that winning one game is possible, but to go, go through over two games, it's, it's, it's very difficult. Um, so I'm very proud and I'm very happy for, for what we did. Could you walk us through your thought process and as you know you were going to go in, what did the coach tell you before you went um, in? I mean, it all happened so fast. Um, the guy, Jacob, who, who's a good friend of mine, he, he uh, toured his ACL. Um, so I didn't even have time to warm up. I just, just put my jersey on. Um, the coach gave me some some directives and, and just went in. Um, so it's a little bit difficult, uh, both not warming up and, and going going uh, going in against Italy. Um, it's it's not really what you want. Like it's not optional, but but I mean, just did my thing and then. Um, we got we got the the result that we needed. So how hard it is to play in a, such a difficult stadium like San Siro against a, a historic team like Italy? Yeah, it, it's very difficult. Um, it's one of the best atmosphere I've ever played, uh, and against one of the best teams as well. Um, so you, you you could just feel um, when we walked out at the stadium and when we had our national anthem, it was. Was crazy atmosphere. Uh, they just whistled and, and booed us, and, and which I think is a bad thing. But um, it's it's a great atmosphere. It's it's a great players. Um, but as I said, that that just makes us more proud. Reactions back home. Uh, I think no one really believed that we're that we're gonna go through. Uh, everybody hoped that we would. Uh, but when we got the draw against against Italy. Um, Everybody knew that is it, it's very difficult, and um, we had to do something very, very great uh, to go through. And, and uh, so it's a very, very happy news back in Sweden. Everybody's so happy. Um, but as I said, no one really believed it, so it's it's more of a shock, maybe. Um, but going to Russia, going to World Cup, it's it's going to be a very good thing. Uh, there was a photograph of you and uh, Buffon. What was that interaction like? Uh, I mean, of course, you're very happy when, when the, the final signal comes uh, after the 90 minutes. Uh, but then you see a, a player and, and a legend like Buffon uh, walking across the, the pitch and, and crying. Uh, I mean, of course, you, you feel for the guy. Uh, it's not the way that he wants to end his career. Um, so I just walked over and said, uh, just try to cheer him up a little bit. Have you seen a shift? And it's not just about Italy. I mean, your your country and Sweden's a big club too. But have you seen a shift in the upcoming World Cup in terms of some of the powerhouses not competing for the World Cup? Yeah, I mean, um, we we be, we uh, we played against Holland and against Italy, and we both beat them both. Um, two very big nations. They're not going to World Cup. Uh, we know that we are we are a good team. Um, we're probably not as strong as we have been, but we're a very good team. And um, there's a lot of good teams out there. Uh, it's not that easy anymore. Um, you, you, could, you could just see it, American here. It's it's not that easy anymore to go to to World Cup and. Um, but it, that just makes it more interesting because you have a lot of good players in, in different different um, nation, nations and, and it's it's, uh, it's good. I think that it's a little bit more wider now. Do you think it's a certain style that's making the diverse teams? Or I mean, you know, you got to play well, communicate, all that stuff, and attack and execute. But I think also you have more players playing in bigger leagues. Um, they know how what what to do what what not to do in these kind of big games. Uh, if you compare it to, to um, players that are never played in in stadiums like this or with fans like this, then you don't really know how to react or how to, to play your game. But with experience comes comes good things. And is it something about the, the central defender in the midfield? Is that starting to change in how that position is being used on a worldwide basis? Yeah, uh, I mean, you have more 
wider uh, players, I think, in those positions today. Um, not really the strong, only hard, but you also have to be fast. You have to, to read the play. You have to be a good player. Um, so it's a little bit different, yeah. When a player like Slyton, who's retired, there's some possibility for him coming back. However, he didn't like sweat and was there to help you guys go through that next step. How would you feel a player like him coming back and just getting on before the World Cup? I mean, yeah, we did a great job without him. Uh, but he is a very good player and, and especially he brings so much respect from, from the opponents. Uh, they have to put at least two guys on him, uh, so that creates more space for, for the other players. So he's a very good asset to have. Uh, at the same time, like I said, we did a very good job without him. Uh, we played a little bit different without him. Um, but he, he brings something else on the table. Where would you say this ranks in terms of things that you've accomplished in your career? I mean, do you ever think you'd be in a position like growing up where you'd be knocking Italy? No, not, no, not really. Uh, I mean, you always dream about playing World Cup or, or stuff like that, but the way that we went through with it, uh, not only Italy, but we also came second in a very, very difficult group. Um, and then we got Italy uh, and we beat them. That's, of course, one of the biggest things that's ever happened to me. Were you able to summarize last year, obviously coming here, not really knowing what to expect, and then ending back up in uh, Sweden's national team? Yeah, um, I knew coming here to, to MLS would would uh, not make it much easier for me to come back to, to national team. I uh, moved to China, and uh, my chances of coming to national team went smaller. And I thought they were going to be the same going to MLS because of... Uh, such a such so far away from, from Europe and it's difficult to follow in Europe um, but obviously I did something right and they follow me here so I'm very happy not only for for being here in, in Seattle Sounders uh, but also for for being called up and, and played in national team